Hi everyone, this is Kendra, a dietetic intern at CSS, and today I'm going to talk to you about how crockpots work. A crockpot is also known as a slow cooker. It's a pot that can be plugged into the wall and can cook food slowly throughout the day. There are many benefits to using a crockpot. First, it produces more flavorful food, it makes foods more tender, it can save money, save time, and there's many meal options that you can create. Let's look at the parts of a crock pot. First, we're going to talk about the base, the very outer shell. The base is fixed with a liner. The liner has a heated band that electrically produces heat transferred to the food. The knob on the outside of the base allows us to control the heat level in the crock pot. The next part of the crock pot that we'll talk about is the cooking vessel. The vessel is where we put the food. It is usually made of stoneware, which allows the heat to remain constant. Heat from the liner is transferred to the vessel and travels across the bottom and up the sides so that all parts of the food are cooked evenly. The last part of the crock pot that we'll look at is the lid. The lid ensures that the steam remains in the pot and helps the crock pot to reach the appropriate temperature. You might be wondering, where did this crazy idea for crock pots even come about? I'll take you through a brief history. An inventor by the name of Irving Maxson applied for a patent for a food heating device in 1936. His device consisted of an insert held up by a case that held a heating device. The device was also portable. By 1940, Naxon got his patent for the device he called the Naxon Beanery, and he says his Lithuanian mother, Tamara, inspired him. See, Naxon's mother had told him stories about a bean-based stew she used to make in her village bakery at home in Lithuania. The stew, known as kolent, is a traditional Jewish dish that cooks all day. It's rooted in the Jewish Sabbath, the day of rest in which observant Jews aren't supposed to do any work. The stew is supposed to go on the heat before sundown on Friday nights when the Sabbath begins and cook all the way until the end of Saturday services the next day. Lithuanian Jewish families would heat their ovens during the day before Sabbath and then turn the ovens off and put the colant in. The residual heat from the oven would be enough to cook the colant completely throughout the next day. In the early 1970s, Naxon sold his design to Rival Manufacturing, who rebranded his beanery and put it on the market as the crock pot. It was marketed toward working mothers who could put food in the pot before leaving for the office and come home to a cooked meal. The crock pot cooks all day while the cook's away. In 1976, advertisement said, sales died down a little bit in the 80s, perhaps coinciding with the rise of the microwave. Today, however, slow cooking is as popular as ever. 83% of families owned a slow cooker in 2011. The original crockpot design has changed little over the years, but now the insert is removable, a major improvement for cleaning. So now you might be wondering, what can I make with my slow cooker? There are many options. You can use a slow cooker to make soups and stews, main dishes and entrees, breakfast items, and even desserts. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoy getting your new crock pots this month for the pilot study, and we'll have the rest of you getting your crock pots soon.